I'm Tom Daly and I'm an Olympic diver. Um, I've always been sporty from a very young age and I first started sport when I was three, uh, when I started swimming. Uh, my dad thought it was a great idea because we lived by the sea to learn to swim just in case you get into any trouble. And then I started diving when I was seven years old when I went to a public session swimming and saw the diving boards. You're, you jump off the board and it's like being on a roller coaster. You kind of do all the flips upside down, twists and turns. It's, it's, it's the feeling of like being free and falling, I guess. My family are always very supportive and my brothers enjoy, sometimes enjoy coming to watch the diving, although they find it boring and they don't want to be away, they want to play with their mates and stuff. But um, yeah, my, my mum and dad are very supportive, my grandparents are very supportive and I definitely think without them I wouldn't be where I am now. So I had to start from the lowest like kind of level competition. I can remember my first competition was just a Plymouth competition, a development day and then I went up to doing national novices and then age groups and then junior elites and then gradually went higher and higher kind of thing. I moved from the category of being a junior to a senior when I was 12, which was very weird because uh, I was the youngest person like, to go onto the senior circuit because you have to be 13 in the year of the competition that you, you do. So I was, it was, I think it was about three weeks before my 13th birthday. So it was very weird to go to a senior competition that young, but it was good fun. Normally I train six days a week for four to five hours a day. I would train from 10 to 12 in the morning and then I'd train from about 5.30 to 8.30 in the evening. So it's a lot of training, but it's worth it. It's 60% dry land, so we do weights, conditioning, um, we do trampolining, gymnastics, core stability, lots of different things like that that overall help the performance. It does take a couple of months to learn a new dive and perfect it. Normally you start learning the dives on the lower boards and you work your way up to the higher boards. And also in the dry land area on trampolines and things like, things like that, you can learn the moves. When you're stood on the top of a 10 metre board, it's quite scary. So when you're looking down, you're thinking, oh, do I really want to do this? And that's the biggest thing that you have to overcome. You have to be very confident and be able to have the guts to jump off the diving board. You're in the air for 1.7 seconds, so it's, a, it's very quick, but it does feel like a long time when you're spinning around, and you just, try and you just try and think of the process of the dive and don't overthink something too much. To be with the youngest in Beijing was very weird because I was the youngest out of any, any country, and it was good because all the other athletes kind of like looked after me kind of thing, and it was, it was a good friendly environment. The Beijing Olympic Games was it was an eye-opener to me of what an Olympic Games can be like. It was, I didn't expect it to be so massive and everything to be so, just so well organised and everything was so much fun. Like the Olympic Village had, was massive, it had 10,000 10, athletes in it and it was, the food hall was massive, the Olympic Stadium was massive and everything was just amazing. The Water Cube was a very interesting building. It was, it, it was made out of the kind of material that you get when you have like a, a rubber ring when you go into a swimming pool and you could just feel you could touch the side of the building it would just be all squidgy it was really it was really weird but it was a very good idea coming back from Beijing I was doing media interviews all the time and different things and then coming back from the world championships again that was a, a complete like surprise and then to, it was you just come back and your life completely changes well my ultimate ambition at the end of the day is going to be winning an Olympic gold medal in London 2012, that's always been the dream. To think that when you're going to be competing, the whole home crowd is going to be there and just everyone's going to be behind you because that's the thing that keeps me motivated and dedicated to the sport. And it's something that when you think about it, you just, you just make sure that you want to be there and you have to do everything in your power to make sure that you're going to be there.